All right, guys, today I'm going to talk about accuracy when you're a beginner. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how to figure out where to start to draw from and what the most important things are to do. Let's have a quick look. I have a blank model here. I actually just received a model back from a new user who's been using it for about a week. I'm going to quickly show you that. Uh, and they gave me some uh, questions uh, here. And they've used the comment or the BIM tag tool to actually ask questions, which is a great way to communicate when you're learning. Now, he was asking questions about how to do things, but my problem with the model was actually accuracy. And I actually went through and just quickly did some quick check measurements on accuracy, and I noticed that he was out six millimeters in some spots and 40 millimeters in other spots. And I want to explain why that happens and how you can ensure that that never happens to you. Uh, so let's go back to that blank model and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw a rectangle, say 6 metres by 6 metres. Right. right, and I'm going to create two of them. So I'm going to select that, I'm going to move it, and I'm going to control and go over here. Now guys, we're actually creating virtual design and construction models. It's kind of the next step and it's what plus architect plus design build uh, and plus big products are, are renowned for is accuracy and the ability to estimate. So if you're a designer, you're not an estimator or a builder, it's important to know what I'm about to show you. So I'm going to go to my wall tool here and I'm going to go in and I'm going to select uh, my lightweight frame wall with cladding. And you'll notice that it has a frame and it has cladding in here and you can add things like battens uh, for off stud packing and things to keep jobs sustainable and you know, insulated better. And I'm going to just quickly go and draw a wall to start straight out of the box. So I left click, I move my wall down. Now if I zoom in there, you'll notice that that purple line has several points I can draw from. I'm going to draw straight out of the box clockwise direction first. And as I scroll around here, you'll notice that my framework was there. It had a batten there to to pack the cladding off the stud work uh, and it's drawn that basically the way that we would actually build it but most importantly every part of a wall or when you see a wall uh, on a set of plans and if it's multi-skinned it's really important to know the frame size of the wall right so what I have here is a set of plans and when we dimension plans uh, for new projects we always dimension from the structural point. And in this case, the yellow line is the structural point. Uh, and this is the stud thickness here and the length of the wall. So I go back to my model here. This is that outside of that, that, uh, let's quickly show you. This line here, the 90 millimeters is the outside, the, the six, meters and 10 is the inside, right? Okay. Every project starts from the internal wall. Now, if I went and did a double masonry wall, it's the same thing because the internal skin is the load bearing point on most projects. And therefore you'll notice when I've done this wall that the insulation or the Tyvek is actually sitting outside of that draw point. Because when the guys go to site and mark it out, they actually flick these out on the ground. This is the measurement. And you'll notice that the top plate actually sat in line with that because my roof would pitch from here. It is commonly called the XY point of the wall. However, in some cases, you may have been out to site to measure up and you want to actually draw from the outside of the wall. Now, if I scroll in here and I use my right arrow button, it's changing where I draw from. And that would be the same for any wall type that I drew. Let's go back to the lightweight masonry, uh, lightweight frame with cladding. And I'm going to zoom in again. You'll notice that it remembered where I was drawing from last time. Right? So if I want to draw from the inside of the wall, my wall is now drawn according to the location I chose. And I would assume that this is the reason why the plans that I received were out just a little bit, which would be the thickness of the cladding. And also, according to the type of cladding you actually choose in the software, will actually determine what type or what distance this will be drawn from. So if I went and said, let's have a quick look at this, you'll notice 
that my cladding thickness is actually different now. Right? Because this is a stone type cladding. Right? So the material chosen is determining the size of the cladding. And this just saves a whole heap of research, especially when you're using real products like WeatherTex or whatever it is. If you wanted to draw the other way, notice I've been drawing clockwise, you should always draw clockwise to start. But eventually there's going to become a point where I actually need to draw this way. But the problem is, and you'll notice, it tells you the internal and external side of the wall. If I push my insert key, it's actually going to draw from the other side of the wall. Right? And if I went here, but I went uh, my right arrow button, I can now draw from my correct point of the wall. If you have a set of plans that has multiple wall points, I'm just going to offset this by 90. Use F as a keyboard shortcut there. And I wanted to draw from the inside of my wall, I would then go wall. Uh, I would then just click on the inside of the wall and we go right arrow button until I get to the inside of the wall and then I'm getting accurate with what I do. This is the key to learning, well, most important, the, the structural point or the set out point that the carpenters would use on site or the bricklayers would use on site. That is the outside skin, the outside of the internal skin in all cases. Right. That should help you guys be accurate. Remember guys, zoom in. It only takes a second to zoom in. You can speed up the, the, the speed of your computer zoom to be accurate and accuracy is the key. And you'll notice out of the box it's drawing the frame mode and it's turned off all of my internal lining because we never want to draw from here unless you are actually drawing uh, a finished project. So for instance an as-built project and therefore we may draw from this if that's where our measurements are. But in an ideal world, we know the thickness of the cladding and we always use the XY line to draw from. All right, guys. Hope it helps. Cheers.